Okay, is dinner at Liberty Tree Tavern just good enough to end your day the right way at the Magic Kingdom? The answer is no. It is a whole lot better than that. And if you want to know why, stick around until I talk about the dessert. That's the story this week. Welcome back to the Bear's Den. Liberty Tree Tavern is not one of the first places that even I think about when I am looking at dining reservations for the Magic Kingdom. I think this is because Magic Kingdom really has two main table service locations that overshadow all of the others in Be Our Guest Restaurant and Cinderella's Royal Table. Those are the ones that uh, everybody wants to get a reservation at anyway. But there are actually six other table service restaurants inside of Magic Kingdom, including Liberty Tree Tavern. And before we fully get to talking about the experience, let me tell you now that it did not disappoint. So if you were looking for a quick answer as to whether or not you should make a reservation at Liberty Tree Tavern, the answer is yes. For the rest of you that want to know more about why, let's keep going. And we are going to break this discussion up into three parts. Theming, dinner, that's, I went to make two and I made three. Theming, dinner, and, how do I, theming, dinner, and dessert. Yes, that's right. Dessert gets its own category at Liberty Tree Tavern. First up, let's talk about the theming at Liberty Tree Tavern which being in Liberty Square at Magic Kingdom, you may have guessed, is themed all around 1776, the founding of the United States and the revolutionary period. Liberty Square itself has a lot of theming when it comes to the revolutionary period. What I did not know was how well themed Liberty Tree Tavern itself actually is to go along with the area of the park that it is in. The restaurant features six different dining rooms slash areas where guests are sat for lunch and dinner. Each one looks a bit different because each room is actually based on a different person from the revolutionary period. These are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, John Paul Jones, Paul Revere, and Betsy Ross. Now, there are elements in each room that will give away who that room is themed after, but if you're not into figuring out the puzzle, there are also plaques in each room that will tell you who the room is dedicated to. I sat in the Betsy Ross room, and once you realize the theming and which room you are in, the elements become a lot more fun and a lot more interesting. So when it comes to theming, Liberty Tree Tavern is up there with any of the themed restaurants on property. Now, while the theming at Liberty Tree Tavern was great, the food still had to be at least good in order for me to recommend this as some place to make a reservation. And honestly, the food was delicious, as long as you set your expectations right. A meal at Liberty Tree Tavern is not going to be like the meal that you get at some of the signature restaurants around property but it was 100% on par, if not better than some of the signature restaurants inside of Magic Kingdom, especially for not being a signature restaurant itself. I have never been to Cinderella's Royal Table, but I have been to Be Our Guest multiple times. And in my opinion, the food at Liberty Tree is a lot better than the food at Be Our Guest. Just some things to know about the food experience the entire meal is served family style, which means that each course is brought to the table in one big serving, like a buffet that comes to you, meaning that if you want more of something, you just ask for it. This is all you care to enjoy. Course one is the declaration salad, which is tossed mixed greens and a house-made dressing. Here's the thing, I am not a rabbit, so I don't eat rabbit food. Did I try this? No. Did I have them bring it to the table so that I could get a video of it to share it with you? Yes. Judge me in the comments, but I, I didn't eat this. Course two is the Patriot's Platter. On here, you are going to get roasted turkey, Pennsylvania pot roast, and oven roasted pork with mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, and herb stuffing, and 
house-made macaroni and cheese. First of all, the portion sizes are ridiculous. I was alone, and this was my entire plate, just for me. And I could ask for more. In order of what I liked best, I would go turkey, pot roast, and pork when it came to the meats on the platter. All of the sides were good, but the mac and cheese was actually the highlight of the entree for me. It was absolutely delicious. And I know mac and cheese. I, I make a pretty good box mac and cheese myself. And then they brought out dessert. Now, just before dessert, if you wanna get more content and more profiles of Walt Disney World restaurants like this one, click the link in the description to register for my private Walt Disney World community launching later this year. Just for signing the interest form, you're going to get a three pack of my ultimate dining planning guides sent to your email, which I haven't released anywhere else. And you'll be first in line to join the community when it opens up. But now, Let's talk about dessert. And can I just tell you that if you were to tell me that you decided to go to Liberty Tree Tavern and you literally ate nothing there except for the dessert, I wouldn't judge you. Not one bit. The ooey gooey toffee cake is a vanilla toffee cake with chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream and it's everything that freedom stands for. This dessert is incredible because it's pretty much just as the name describes, ooey and gooey and chocolatey. Then when you add the ice cream on top, it's like eating a freshly baked cookie and washing it down with the coldest milk that you can find. I also loved it because it's one of those desserts that I thought was gonna be really sweet and really heavy, but it was actually just perfectly sweet and nowhere near as heavy as I thought it would be. The only thing that would make this dessert better is if it were in Mickey shape because everything tastes better in Mickey shape. So is Liberty Tree Tavern a reservation you should make to end your night the right way at Magic Kingdom? I, or I already told, I gave that away in the beginning. I already told you it was. So I guess that's it. And remember, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow.